Hi guys, I'm Dan from Correct Osteo Clinic and today I want to talk to you a little bit about plantar fasciitis, signs and symptoms and even some uh, treatment for plantar fasciitis. So plantar, the plantar fascia is a fibrous uh, band that is at the base of the foot on the plantar side of the foot. It attaches from your heel okay, to your toes. Um, so where my pen is basically that will, it will go in that direction there. All right, so it's basically just to support the underneath surface of your foot, um, especially when you're putting weight through it uh, or when you're doing certain activity. So then the arch of the foot doesn't flatten far too much. Okay, so you want to have like a decent arch in the foot, um, but if that reduces uh, or even increased pressure, uh, can put um, an overstretch and cause inflammation on that tissue and that's when it's characterized as plantar fasciitis. The plantar fasciitis will, is probably one of the most common um, causes of heel pain. The plantar fasciitis symptoms will normally occur as pain around the heel of the foot, so in this sort of region here. But being overweight can predispose you to plantar fasciitis, so um, increased weight bearing on the foot can drop the um, arch of the foot and again stretch out or keep irritating that band on the bottom. The unsupportive uh, shoes for the arch of your foot can cause that arch to decrease and again put in more inflammation uh, and irritation on that plantar fascia. If you've just started a new sport, um, this can do it as well. Um, so if you've just started something like running, increased amount of walking, that can actually put quite a lot of pressure through the arch of the foot that you have to be say on the balls of your feet uh, and it's reducing and springing the arch of your foot quite a lot. As some rheumatic issues can also um, aggravate um, and inflame the plantar fascia. Um, so it's not just the mechanical strains, there are some certain uh, rheumatic issues that can, can do that as well. When the pain comes on is normally in the morning when you start to plant your heel onto the floor. Um, again, when you're putting pressure down through the arch of the foot, uh, bringing your toes to your head, can also uh, cause pain or even stretching out the calves as well. Uh, an increased tension through the calves can also pull on the base of the foot. Uh, so if you've got really tight calves, um, that can also, where the attachment comes down the back of the leg and onto the heel, all right, from stuff like Achilles tendons, um, that can also pull onto the connective tissue on the base of the foot. And so they're the uh, sort of characteristics and some causes of plantar fasciitis. Uh, make sure you are obviously wearing uh, good heel supports. Uh, if you are, you know, doing any sort of like new exercise, uh, maybe just make sure that the, the trainers or footwear that you are using is uh, supportive enough for um, your feet. And certain orthotics that can go and relieve um, uh, pressure off the heel of the foot as well, so certain orthotics could do that. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, stuff like Voltarol gel, ibuprofen gel, that sort of thing, um, on the base of the foot can uh, can help with that, so um, to bring down that inflammation. Rolling on a ice bottle of water, so if you put a small bottle of water in the freezer, uh, wait until it's nice and cold and it's frozen, if you take it out and you can roll the um, bottle of water onto the base of the foot, uh, so it's nice and cold and it can decrease that amount of inflammation. Some people find relief from um, rolling on a massage ball or something like a, a tennis ball. Um, however, a tennis ball can be quite soft and can collapse quite easily under pressure. So um, some people prefer um, a softer massage ball like a tennis ball um, or some people can get quite a bit of relief from something firmer, something like a cricket ball, um, a hockey ball or even um, a golf ball in certain cases. Just be careful on the amount of pressure that you're putting down. If anything's hurting you too much um, and you're getting any sort of unusual pain from that, start to regress it, take the pressure off. Um, you might be putting too much pressure on the base of the foot. Stretch your calves out just to make sure that your calves aren't tight and pulling onto the, the base of the foot and that's pulling onto the uh, plantar fascia. Weight loss um, can also help with uh, reducing the amount of pressure on the arch of the foot. Self-massage techniques. So if, you, um, cross your, if you're sitting down on the chair, on the sofa, cross your leg over your over your uh, thigh and you can also do some self massage techniques onto the base of the foot so you can sort of run up that actual plantar fascia itself.
grab the toes, spread the toes out, and also do some sort of release work on the actual plantar fascia itself as well. You can also put a towel around the base of the toes, so it's pulling, so if you're sitting on the floor, put a towel around the base or the, the, the actual toes there and pull them back towards your head and that will stretch out the, the uh, base of the foot. Easy calf stretches, like I mentioned earlier, is two hands against the wall and basically look like you're gonna push the wall over and the back leg, the back heel will be on the floor, based on the floor and it will be stretching out that calf. Also going on to a step, if you um, put your toes onto a step and then allow your heel to sort of drop towards the floor. Um, that's a nice stretch as well for calves and even the base of your foot. If you're stretching too far, you might get an increase in um, abnormal pain um, in the uh, plantar fascia again. So just be careful, you might not wanna go too far with that. If the pain does uh, not relieve uh, with any of those exercises and it's quite persistent or gets any worse, please just give us a call come in and, uh, and see us and we can um, do some treatment on it for you. I hope that goes well. Um, if any further information, please don't hesitate to contact us. I uh, hope you have a good day and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.